Hey guys, good morning. So today we're gonna to be planting up a couple of spring containers. These urns right back here. These flank our back sun porch door and it's the one that we walk by the most. And this has been kind of an interesting spot for me because I, it's been interesting to figure out where to put pots because it's not really balanced on either side and I can't put anything in the way of this walkway because it's already narrow. But I think I've really enjoyed having these right here. So that's where I'm gonna leave them. And I've got my cart filled with gorgeous stuff. And I wanna keep it fairly simple and bright, very springy. I already have the containers pretty full of soil because when I did my winter arrangement, I put fresh soil in there. Um, so I did bring a bag of the potting mix up to top it up if I need to. And then as our centerpiece plant, I am going to be using a lemon cypress. It's a little bit difficult this time of year to find big centerpiece plants, and I don't really need anything huge. Um, I actually found these as a house plant down at my parents' garden center uh, because they do winter over inside really well for us. Um, but our temperatures are warm enough out here now that the lemon cypress will be just fine. But isn't this like the most beautiful bright pop of color just by itself? And then around it, I'm gonna go with a blue and white kind of color scheme here. I dropped my glove. Um, because you know the Pantone color of the year is classic blue and I could actually sense myself shifting toward being more interested in that color last year and I don't know if like the marketing was working early <laughs> or what but I just thought you know what I want to incorporate more blue and I want to use maybe some more blue pottery I've bought several like blue and white vases that I've really enjoyed inside um, so what we're gonna do is these white are these white ranunculus. This is called Sprinkles White right there. Isn't that gorgeous? And then these are called True Blue Pansies. And I really like the really big flowers that these have. So I just think that the three of these are gonna make a really pretty container. So what we're gonna do is just set up the camera, get these planted, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. Uh, P.S. <laughs> almost forgot. I have this gorgeous flat of hellebores. I picked these up a few weeks ago. They're called Blue Diamond. And I thought that I was going to maybe incorporate these around the lemon cypress as kind of my next layer down. But the root balls, as you know, of hellebores, if you've ever planted them, are very unmoldable. Like most root balls, you can kind of smash and kind of stick in pots, but these are usually really, stay out of my coffee. These are usually really tough and pretty root bound typically. So I was looking at the reservoir and I just don't think it's gonna be big enough to accommodate these, which is fine. I'll find another place for these when I'm done. bit as pretty as I hoped they would they like I thought in my mind that these were gonna look kind of simple when I got done and they are in terms of like there's not a ton of different plants that I use I've got some dirt on some of these but I don't really think there's anything simple about the way they look <laughs> I mean they're so full and gorgeous so the lemon cypress was actually the perfect size I think for these containers it didn't overwhelm the other plants um, because I wouldn't want something way too enormous and then you know my shorter layers down below um, and then I was really hoping because when they were in their flats the ranunculus looked about the same height as the pansies but I kind of planted the pansies at an angle so they're kind of going more out so that the ranunculus could be a little bit taller so of course I used one lemon cypress per container five ranunculus and eight to nine pansies um, in the spring you can plant things like this because they're going to be in here let's see what is today beginning of March so they'll be in here March and April part of May possibly depending on when I get to these for summer plants so we're only going to be having these in here for two two and a half months so they're not going to put on so much growth that they'll overtake this space and make each other unhealthy um, and that's kind of how spring and fall containers go 
Uh, anyway, I am just super pleased. As far as cost goes, I added up how much this would cost for the five ranunculus, eight pansies, and the lemon cypress, the bulk of it, half of it's the lemon cypress, which you can pot out or leave in here for summertime, um, or take it in as a house plant, whatever you want. Uh, it's around 50 to $55 per container to fill them up this full at uh, retail cost, just so you know that bit. So the only thing I have left to do here, I haven't watered them in yet, and watering right now will be super easy. We're hovering a, like right at or above freezing right now. All of these plants will be completely fine. They're protected from the house, um, and they're all very tough plants that way. Um, so in the morning, like the pansies might look a little bit like, mm, like a little sad, but they perk right back up, like mid-morning, mid to late morning. Um, so I need to water them in. I need to clean this. When I set the flats of plants down, there was a bunch of water and stuff that had accumulated, and the blower doesn't pick that up. So I'll hose this whole area down. And I was thinking with these hellebores, like wouldn't it be so pretty to kind of group these together in a container, like two or three, and put them right below, like somewhere in here. Like I think it would be pretty to find a shiny ceramic cobalt blue container and just pack them full of these. I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do and I'd have to come across just the right containers and the right size that would fit the scale of this area, but it's kind of something I'll probably be on the look for. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was inspiring to you um, to kind of just see this sort of color palette and some spring color because we all want that right now. Anyway, thanks again for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh,